Scientists have spent many years trying to determine the age of the planet. By dating the rocks in the Earth's crust and rocks from the Moon, scientists have been able to come up with estimates. Rocks that have been returned from the Moon have been dated to be 4.5 billion years old. These rocks support the idea that the Earth and the rest of the solar system formed around 4.5 billion years ago. Recently, gem and mineral expert Eret Mitsmaki made an incredible discovery. While walking along the shore of Lake Superior at night, he found rocks that glowed like lava. This was with the aid of a UV light. He didn't know what these stones were, so decided to ask some of his friends in the field. However, they told him they didn't know what he was talking about. He went back and decided to use black light, and this is when he discovered even more of them. Eric said he was blown away by how many there were. After seeing these glowing stones sitting on the beach, he started to collect them by the bagful. However, Eric was still puzzled by the glowing rocks, and decided to send them to the Michigan Tech University. After doing numerous studies, the researchers said the rocks were a type of cyanide. These rocks contain sodalite. Sodalite is a blue-coloured mineral that is widely used as an ornamental gemstone. However, the one found in this rock has glowing properties. Sodalite that's found in Canada is what's responsible for the glowing nature of the rocks. As mentioned, these are usually blue, but the rocks Eric discovered have been mostly composed of granite or basalt. Geologists have noted that while these stones have technically been discovered already, this is the first time anyone has had them officially tested and confirmed. Some minerals can be fluorescent. These minerals have the ability to absorb a small amount of light, and later on release a small amount of light on a different wavelength. The colour change of fluorescent minerals can be seen best when they're illuminated in darkness. This can be achieved by using an ultraviolet light. Eric has turned his fund into a solid business. He now sells these stones. In addition to this, he also gives tours of the area where the stones can be found. His tours last for a few hours and he says that everyone can find the rocks. His social media pages are filled with tour photos and his group's finds. The Eupolites were named by Eric after the region they were found in, the Michigan Upper Peninsula. The presence of these stones in Michigan has been put down to glacial movement. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.